Venus avium and the Rosaceae is commonly known as bird cherry. It's also known as sweet cherry and mazard. It's a fairly common tree that's escaped cultivation from Europe and it does get to be a rather large size, one of the larger cherries of all cherries that are woody species. The leaves are larger than Prunus serotina, which we've looked at in an earlier segment. And if you look very carefully at the margin, it has very large teeth, much larger teeth than you find on our native Prunus serotina, the black cherry. Another feature you see on, the, on this cherry, on all cherries, you see glands near the place where the petiole meets the blade. And in this case, the glands are rather pronounced. They're much more pronounced than they are on black cherry. And something that you can't see, but you can certainly smell if you were to scratch the stem on this and all cherries, it has that distinctive bitter almond smell and taste. It does produce a small cherry fruit. The birds do enjoy it. And the flowers are very beautiful in April. So it is a nice looking tree. But there are so many other trees that really are, offer much more for the landscape. It is widely naturalized, commonly along edges of forest and fence rows. The bark looks a lot like black cherry at the beginning. It's very shiny with these horizontal lenticels. But unlike black cherry, as this tree gets to over one foot in diameter, it never develops those black scaly bark plates or ridges. Prunus avium, the bird cherry, very commonly naturalized throughout the northeastern United States.